I wanted everybody to be held accountable for their habits as a basketball player every day. And I think a lot of stuff was getting swept under the rug because we're injured or this guy's not around or just the circumstances. I thought we could have fought through that a little bit more and focused on the guys that were here a little bit more. There you go. It's no secret that the Brooklyn Nets massively underperformed last season after getting swept by the Boston Celtics in the first round of the playoffs, despite coming into the year being considered championship contenders. With that said, it would be unfair of me to skip over the fact that they also dealt with the most drama of any NBA team by a mile. Between Kyrie Irving sticking to his guns and refusing to get vaccinated, causing him to miss the vast majority of home games, to James Harden becoming unhappy with the situation in Brooklyn and ultimately getting traded. Yeah, but yeah, it's frustrating. I think everybody in this organization is frustrated because we are better than what our record is and we should be, you know, on the way up. To then dealing with Ben Simmons not playing a single minute for the Nets. And the drama didn't stop there. Weeks after getting eliminated by the Celtics, on the first official day of NBA free agency, Kevin Durant requested a trade. The initial reaction around the league was that the KD Kyrie duo in Brooklyn had run its course, ending a brief era featuring two of the NBA's biggest and in a lot of ways most hated superstars. But then it got weird. After days of the NBA world trying to predict where each of them were going to be playing next season, sharing Photoshop designs of KD in a Heat uniform and Kyrie in a Laker uniform, Uni, teaming back up with LeBron, Kyrie opted into his $37 million player option, shattering any scenario of him going out to LA or any team not named the Nets. Once that was announced, all eyes turned to Kevin. He ultimately had discussions with ownership and other members of the Nets organization and came to the conclusion that he would stay put and run it back with Irving and hopefully, maybe, this other former All-Star on the roster named Ben Simmons. Which brings me to what took place at the Nets media day earlier today. One of KD's most notable quotes during his press conference was this. I want everybody to be held accountable for their habits as a basketball player every day. And I think a lot of stuff was getting swept under the rug because we're injured or this guy's not around or just the circumstances. I thought we could have fought through that a little bit more and focused on the guys that were here a little bit more. All right, guys, let's take a quick break from today's video to talk about our sponsor, NordVPN. If you aren't sure what a VPN is, it stands for Virtual Private Network. I personally don't like to be tracked and watched while browsing the internet, and if you feel the same way, then I highly recommend you go check out what NordVPN has to offer. VPN encryption will protect your internet traffic and keep you from leaving online footprints. Not to mention the other benefits it provides, like being able to change your IP location and getting access to content that might not be available in your area. A great example of when it comes up clutch for me is when I want to watch the Heat play on NBA League Pass and it's blacked out because of the local networks. All I have to do is change it to another city and boom, problem solved. Another benefit is that it encrypts your traffic, so your internet service provider can't throttle your connection and slow down your streaming speeds. If any of this sounds valuable to you, head to the link in my description and check it out today. You'll receive four months free for any two-year subscription. So make sure you go to nordvpn.com backslash hoopdiamonds. All right, now back to the video. While he doesn't mention Ben Simmons directly, and while I don't think he's the only player this message is intended for, it seems pretty obvious that Durant wasn't ecstatic about the fact that Simmons was cleared to play toward the end of the season, but chose not to. Simmons has been on the receiving end of a lot of criticism over the last couple years, and in my eyes, it's warranted. I empathize with him as far as dealing with injuries and going through some mental health struggles dating back to the situation in Philly, but I do think there comes a point where you just have to put all that aside and fulfill your obligation to your teammates, the organization that pays you and the fans who support you. And he just flat out didn't do that last year when the Nets needed him most. Despite how I feel about his competitiveness, there's no denying that a player like Ben would have helped the Nets tremendously. His ability to defend the other team's best player, mixed with being able to crash the boards and get the fast break started by himself, surrounded by guys like KD and Kyrie, truly makes for a very intriguing combination. But unfortunately, we just haven't seen it yet. Hopefully, he hears KD's message and bounces back in a major way this upcoming season. Because if he does, I truly think we could see the script get flipped from how last season went. Instead of coming into this season as one of the favorites, people might write them off due to the dysfunction and questionable availability we've seen in the past, and deservedly so. But if we do get a chance to see this revised Big 3 in Brooklyn finally take the court, combined with the additions of TJ Warren, Royce O'Neal, Markeith Morris, not to mention a Cam Thomas with a year of NBA experience under his belt, we could be looking at a team that eventually figures it out and finds themselves playing deep into next summer. I know that's what Kevin would like to see, but it's ultimately up to his teammates to answer the call. What do you guys think? Will the Nets be a real contender this year, or will it be another year of chaos? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. 